Hello, my name is Niels Mohmeyer. I'm responsible for the marketing and sales activities for our NIR spectroscopy solution of Trinamics. Trinamics has been founded five years ago by BASF as a 100% subsidiary. We are also based in Ludwigshafen, Germany, and we have uh, in 2020 now more than 140 employees. Today I would like to present our NIR spectroscopy solution. This solution can be used in different industries for different applications. Today in all those industries there is an increasing demand to get more information on the ingredients, the composition of the formulation, the material information as such, to have it transparent also for documentation and today there are already some solutions in the market, but the majority are big benchtop devices used in big laboratories. But you need, next to the hardware in those cases, also employees which are capable to derive um, the results out of the measurements to interpret the spectra. Um, and all that takes time. You have to bring the sample into the lab and all that is cost effective and with our solution we can hope to optimize that process for all the different users in the different industries. So our solution covers different elements. First of all our hardware, so the spectra, the, the spectrometer, then an app which can be yeah, downloaded from the app stores. It can be used on a smartphone or here in that case on a tablet. You can see here the different available models for the different use cases. I will come to that later. And we have also a customer portal. It is explorer based that you can further evaluate your historic data and that you can download also the spectral information. In addition to those three elements, all that is managed and um, connected via the cloud and with the cloud where we have all our database in. And I will explain all that in detail with a clear example. And that first example is a plastic use case. We started with a plastic use case as first real sellable solution where we have already 18 materials in the database. And we figured out that with our combined elements in that solution, we can really answer to the needs of the market. The needs in the market for the plastic sorting is that the recyclers and different stakeholders in that industry would like to distinguish the different polymers in the waste streams that they can sell really 100% sorted plastics to their customers in order to get yeah, more money at the end for, for the different plastics. For that application in the plastic industry, next to the differentiation of the plastic materials, it is very important, a great advantage, what we got already as feedback, that we have a mobile version. The spectrometer fits very nicely into my hand. I can use it everywhere in the facility going around checking the polymers and then I can go further since I have directly the information um, presented on the app, on the um, smartphone or the tablet, which material do I have in hand. So already enough words on that, now go to action and therefore I start the plastic model. I have in all cases um, the possibility to start the measurement at the button at the spectrometer. It's on, off and to measure. And we have also the possibility, and that depends on the user, that you can also start the measurement directly in the app. So when I place the material on top of the head, then I start the measurement. Then the spectrum is taken you got the result and it was shown polystyrene and it works always the same case. You measure, it takes roughly one second, then the encrypted spectrum will be sent to the app. 
from the app to the cloud, what I said. In the cloud, we have all our database for the different models, for the different use cases. And in the cloud, we run the chemometric evaluation, compare the new spectra with the database and within one second, you get the information back into the app that you see are uh, its polystyrene. Another example here with that plate, put it on top, measure. Result is given, it's in POM material and all that works very fast, very efficient and the user gets direct, directly the information that they can go further with their daily work. In our spectrometer, um, we have in the head really four light bulbs. And in addition to the four light bulbs, I hope you can see it here, it's a very small, thin sensor chip. And we produce those chips um, here in Ludwigshafen by ourselves. Um, the chemistry is lead sulfide. And due to the chemistry, we cover a much broader range in the NIR regime than others like silicon sensors. And therefore, we have the yeah, we are able to get more information out of the spectra and that is very relevant for applications, for example, in agriculture or food where you would like to get information on the protein content or the information on fatty acids. And with that, we have clearly an advantage in comparison to other mobile solutions. The difference to benchtop devices is clear. We have really a mobile very easy to use, flexible yeah, lab for the pocket. And we cover with our sensor the regime from 1400 to 2500 nanometers that we get really also the range above 2000 nanometers where we can derive very yeah, crucial information, not just to determine information on qualitative um, level like is it plastic A or plastic B. We have also a possibility to measure the concentration of some ingredients in a certain product. And therefore I would like to switch to the next application. So plastics was really qualitative and with the next use case it's coffee and uh, different um, ingredients can be measured in that model but all with the same spectrometer. We just give you one hardware and then all the adjustments, all the different models are yeah, tangible and can be managed within the app. So I will start the model for coffee. And for coffee, um, we have different solutions. One is for the green coffee, where the roasters would like to get an information on the water content, carbohydrates or acids like chlorogenic acid since all those ingredients influence the final result of the coffee the taste significantly depending on the concentration in comparison to the roast process so as a roaster to increase the temperature or to roast longer all that depends on the water concentration etc next to that we have also a model for the roasted um, beans and here it's a grinded coffee. I can place that wire directly on the spectrometer so with our solution we can also measure th uh, through glass or also through thin transparent plastic materials and then you have a very efficient and fast solution also for the coffee roasters. And here in that model we have the evaluation for the caffeine concentration and to be really sure, since we would like to get a, give a very detailed result, we implemented into our app that you have to measure five times. And out of those five measurements, we get an average spectrum, which will be compared with the database. So here you can see also the measurement then in all cases with the light flickering third but also that it goes very fast um, but you are sure 
that you have really the best result. And here 0.7% of caffeine in, um, in that sample. It's an Arabica bean and with that information you can give also the roasters um, a tool in the hand that they can yeah, argue better to their customers that coffee has a higher caffeine concentration. You can sleep very well when you drink that. It's not that high in caffeine concentration. And also in the long run, we will have the information on the chlorogenic acid of the roasted coffee. And that is also very important for the final user. Lower concentration of, the, uh, of that acid um, is not that critical for your stomach at the end. For both industries, for all the different users along the value chain, is it, easy, is it either in the plastic industry from yeah, recyclers or to components or really processing companies? For all those companies, they have directly the actionable result with our solution and it's also the same for the coffee industry. On the long run, it's interesting for the traders, for the farmers, getting information on all the ingredients, but also, as I explained, for the roasters. So for different industries, you can use one solution, the spectrometer, with the app, with the cloud, customer portal, and then just the dedicated model of your interest. And then you have the relevant information for your needs. Next to our um, spectrometer with already implemented use cases and models. We have also a solution for yeah, lab team members, for lab leaders or other um, people being interested in yeah, more scientific information around the different uh, materials. And here we have implemented the data collection mode. I will start one or create a new one, a new campaign. For example, textile, just fill in the name. And then I can start to measure my shirt. And here you can see directly the spectrum of the shirt. It's a cotton material, you see um, directly the graph and you can compare the graph with other materials. Therefore, I will measure the next one. And you see here the differences of the two um, textiles. You can go further measuring other materials and directly after the measurement, the result is also um, available in the customer portal since everything is connected with the cloud and via the customer portal, you, has, you have also the possibility to download the spectra um, and to further evaluate them, correlate with other data, that you have a very powerful tool in your hand um, with collecting data directly by yourself without the need to have a final model available. Yeah, next to our mobile version, where you really need the flexible solution um, being in the site, being in your factory, getting directly the information on the different materials and ingredients. We do have also an integrated solution. Uh, since we have this very thin sensor, as I already explained, we can integrate a very small size NIR spectroscopy module into your goods, for example, appliances or other products where the user or the end consumer needs the information on, for example, type of textile, ingredients like proteins in um, some food materials. And all those activities are managed by my colleague Sebastian Waloch and his team. And they are happy to answer your question in that direction. I'm happy to get your feedback on our mobile version. And with all that, I hope you got a first impression on our NIR spectroscopy solution. And I thank you for your attention. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.